Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Okay, so I saw this guy Thomas do a tutorial where he was following Jeffree Star's makeup in a makeup tutorial and he did it like using like products similar or the same products. So I'm going to be doing following a Jaclyn Hill makeup tutorial using only her palette. So, so if you want to see me follow her makeup tutorial and see how everything came out, then just uh, keep on watching. Priming my eyes. I'm just using a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and then I will just go over it with a translucent powder. That's the way I personally prime my eyes. So she says she goes in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Then I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder just to set my eyes because that's how she does it as well. Let's see what she does next. Okay, so she's going in with nude shades in her crease. So now I'm going to go in with this nude shade right here, and this looks like the shade that she's using. So my face is also sunburnt, so that's why it's red. It's not like natural, it's like sunburnt. So yeah. I'm just going to put this on that entire inner corner area. We want the majority of this color right there in that inner corner, like in that tear duct area, and then we want to fade out from there. All right, so now that we have that turquoise blue in the inner corner, I'm going to... Okay, so now she went in with the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. So I'm going to do the Morphe E36 is what I'm going to go in with. And she just went in with the blue, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in with her really aqua blue down here and I know this is going to work for a fact so Okay, let's see what her next step is. Pick up the Queen of Hearts palette again, and I'm going to grab Queen Mother, which is this really beautiful shimmery purple shade right here. So first, the first thing I'm noticing is that I think her um, crease is a little bit more like orangier than mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this kind of like red shade because she doesn't really have like an actual orange because that's like too yellow. So I'm gonna, just gonna go in with this one and be really. Or I can use this one. I'll go in with this one. So I'm going to be going in with this purple shade right here. Just to put on the outer portion like she's doing on the outer, like, you know, area. have your majesty which is this beautiful shimmery gold right here in the center of the palette i'm going to use the exact same okay all right so i'm going to go in with this gold right here over in the corner i don't have the names on me but i'll put them on the side somewhere and this is the shade she's going i'm, I'm going to go in with that is super identical to hers so let's just pop that in the middle I don't have that. So she's going in with MAC Deep Damson, but I, I don't have that. So I'm going to go in back in her palette and I'm going to use the shade right here. And I'm just going to apply that over the purple like she's doing. I'm just going to lightly go over this area to make sure that everything is, of course, blended to fill. No brush lines. 
Is it bear okay? I don't know if that's the style, but that's what we're going to go in with. These are what they look like. I'm going to prime my face. I'm using this Sisley primer that I keep going back and forth on because it is so expensive. Okay, so I obviously don't have that primer. She even said how she doesn't want to love it. So um, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. just lit from within primer. I love her. Okay, so I do have that foundation. It's right here. I tried this foundation out and I did not like it at all. It's super expensive and I'd rather just go in with the Wet n Wild one. So I think I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild one. I have the exact foundation that she's using right now. And the exact brush because I got it from the Jaclyn Hill collection. Like brush collection. That Morphe M439. But I think I'm just going to go in with the Wet n Wild foundation because this one, I don't know, looks better on my skin. I'm just going to say that. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, now we're going to see what is next. The Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder looks like this. And as I apply it, I pick up a tiny bit at a time. And I just lightly stamp as you can see. Okay, and obviously we're not going to use that. Obviously I don't, I don't have that powder, so... We are just going to go in with our normal fluffy brush, and I'm just going to use the Morphe E41, and I'm just going to pounce the Rimmel Stay Matte all over my face. Alright, now that we have the powder done, I'm just going to go ahead and see what she does next. Off the lower lash line, I'm going to pick up some of that matte orange shade from the So she took a little pencil brush like this, and she went in with that orange shade. Now, we, we obviously don't have that orange shade in this palette, so we are going to go ahead and we're going to use that on from the Tarte palette, and I'm just going to apply that underneath where she put hers, so we're just going to do that. She said she went 75% way percent of the way in, so she stopped about right there, so that's what we're going to do. Then she took that blue shade again, and she just applied that to the inner corners, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to take her palette. Okay, and then super close to the lash line, she applied that purple. So since she used a shimmer on there, I think she used a matte shade on the lash line, so I'm going to go in with the shade right over here in the corner, it kind of, it's super dark, so I'm going to apply that close to the lash line. Okay, so now she's going back in with that gold shade, so I'm going to take that on a smaller pencil brush. I'm going to spray this smaller brush with some of that e.l.f. aqua primer mist. And then I'm going to take the gold that we use on our lid, swirl my brush around in the palette, and then I'm going to apply that to the center of my lower lash line as she is doing. Oh god, my eyes are watering. I do not recommend putting glittery eyeshadow on your lower lash line because the chunks just go in your eyes and it hurts. It feels like rocks. Okay, she's bronzing up her skin and she's not contouring. So I'm just going to go in with this Morphe R2 brush. Alright, so I'm going to bronze up my skin using the bronzer up in this palette. I don't know. It doesn't come with a name, but it's in this big old Hidden Treasures palette. So I'm just going to bronze up my skin using that. I'm going to grab a little bit of the Makeup Forever 
Dark Star Lip Powder in the shade 13. I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone real quick. Okay, so since I don't have the Makeup Forever Starlet Powder, I'm going to use the same highlight that's in her palette. So I'm going to go ahead and use this really small, tiny brush, and I'm going to use this highlighting shade right here. And I'm going to apply that to my brow bone. I'm going to use this Tarte palette, and literally this blue right here is so light and just perfect, and I'm about to use that one. Me too, girl. I'm freaking upset. That is so sick. I'm going to grab some of these. Mine doesn't look like that. <laughs> okay, I have the Maple Green Lip Balm. Okay, I'm going to use this Maple Green Lip Balm. Okay, I have the 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 Maple Green L